opening period and 33 seconds remaining in the penalty to Ganey. Martinet watched by Savard. Over on the left wing side to Mikosh. Mikosh having trouble gets a pass away to Foster Shield too far for him and Orr behind his own goal for Canada. Bobby Orr laps it down the ice with 13 seconds remaining in the penalty to Ganey and Mikosh back for it. Mikosh of Czechoslovakia coming up to his own blue line going in with Martinez. Martinez takes the pass in over the blue line skating in front gives it back to Keiko. Ganey's back on the ice. Both teams at full strength. Here's Sittler. Sittler at center. Gives it to Savard. He had trouble with it. And Martinez. Back into the corner to Mikosh. One minute and 30 seconds remaining in the opening period. Halinka squeezed out of the play by Bobby Hall. Martinez carries on. Then overskates it. Hall, number nine of Canada. To Dennis Potman in front of his own goal is Gilbert Perrault. Perrault goes back in behind his own goal. Winding up, Perot breaking out for Team Canada to the center. Going in with Hall, in over the line, watched by Keiko. Lost his balance, the puck goes loose, and it's held against the board. And Perot starting to fly out there. The first four or five games in this tournament, Gilbert Perot really was not the Gilbert Perot that we have seen so often with the Buffalo Sabres. He really was not skating the way he can. Here you see him bursting up the ice and creating a, a very good chance. But in, in the last few games, he has been really moving. And, and since the time that he has been joined with Bobby Hall and with Marcel Dion, they've, they've put together a very, very effective line. One minute and two seconds remain to be played in the opening period. Kozak yeah, yeah, behind yeah, his own yeah, goal for yeah, Czechoslovakia. Drops it back for four Jack. Bobby Hall is dumped to the side of the goal. The puck is cleared down the ice. And it'll be icing against Czechoslovakia. That's the first icing call against Czechoslovakia in the game. And the faceoff comes to the right of Vladimir Zarilla. And he's been the talk of the tournament. Ken uh, coming up with an exceptional performance in that one nothing victory. Here we see action behind the net where, where Bobby Hall is, is dumped by the Czechoslovak defenseman, Halupa. Ready for the faceoff now. It's back to Hall. His shot. Zarilla clears it into the corner and behind the net. Gilbert Perot is dumped. Back comes Czechoslovakia with 40 seconds remaining. Peter Stashny gets by Marcel Dion. In over the line. Checked by Potvin. LaPointe backhands the puck off the boards to center. And Borjak to Stashny. 27 seconds remaining. Halupa inside his own line. Gets it on the far side. Czechoslovakia trailing two to nothing. Poor Jack runs into Dion. And now it's Peter Stashny with 15 seconds remaining in the opening period. Czechoslovakia having trouble getting outside their own blue line. Finally get it to center right, but it's knocked down with six seconds remaining. Kozar on the left side. Watched by Dion. Oh, and he takes a stiff jolt. Back down. Potman as the siren goes to end the first 20 minutes of play. But Canada leading by a score of two to nothing. It's a good period of hockey. I think that the, the Czechoslovakian team, if they are to get back uh, in this game, are going to have to open it up more. They, they have a tendency to fall back into a controlled game, and Team Canada plays that game better than they possibly can. Shots on goal. Canada holding a 9-8 inch. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. On the left side, he's covering Reggie Leach, number 28, and play is underway. Pospisil clears it to an open side. Mikosh goes after it, gets it ahead, and Clark intercepts, gives it to Bill Barber. Inside the Czechoslovakian line, Mikosh to Pospisil. Out to center ice, Augusta had trouble with it, and Leach at the side of his own goal for Canada. Off the boards, all the way out to the blue line where Mikosh has it. Off the boards on the far side. Ternick, number 14, takes it to the side of the net, dumps it in front, and Novi just had his stick on it momentarily. Barber is getting up slowly. Here's Leach, a long shot, and Zarilla lost that and went wide of the net. Out to center ice, Novi is checked by Barber. Bosby Shield carries on, Orr takes him out of the play, and Bobby Orr inside his own line ahead to Peter Mahavlis. Mahavlis going in, sets up Esposito back to Mahavlis. Intercepted by Martinez. Mikosh. Off the board. Keela Fleur in front. 
And Pospisil gives it to Novi. Novi, a long pass to Martinet. Savard checks him. And Guy Lafleur to Peter Mahavla. In over the line. Right in front of the goal. He's checked. And Mikos lost it. Here's Orr. His shot goes wide of the Czechoslovakian goal. Lafleur in front. And Martinet backhands it down the ice. Canada 2 and Czechoslovakia no score. Orr inside his own blue line. Orr coming up to center. Off the boards in behind the Czechoslovakian goal. Guy Lafleur right in front. Esposito just failed to get his stick on it. Down the right side. In over the line. Stashny. Fakes. Gives it to Keichel. Keichel's shot. Bashan stops that. No point. Number five for Canada. Long pass for Mahavlitz. Failed to click and it goes over the line. And it's icing. We've played a minute and 55 seconds here in the second period. Some very exciting action already. I don't know when I've seen Phil Esposito skate as fast as he did on a rush with Pete Mahovlich. He was flying down the left wing. And Mahovlich made a, a great play and almost resulted in a goal. Bill Barber came very close to a serious injury there, falling right into the skates of a Czechoslovakian player, but fortunately he was not injured. Face off in the Canada zone. LaPointe off the boards right from the draw to McDonald. And he's successful in getting it down the ice into the Czechoslovakian zone. Boa slaps Stashny back for it. Watched by Daryl Sittler. Stashny beat pass ahead. And it's Martinet leaving it for Halinka. Halinka right in on goal. Squeezed out of the play. And Dennis Botvan runs into Martinet. Ganey off the board down the ice. And it'll be icing against Team Canada as that goes over the line. Here's a look at Lanny McDonald, number 12. And he had a handful of telegrams from Medicine Hat. A lot of spectators in the Medicine Hat, Southern Alberta area, where Lanny McDonald played junior hockey with the Medicine Hat Tigers, cheering him on as thousands of telegrams, of course, from around the country coming into the members of Team Canada. Right from the faceoff and Stashney just failed to get a shot away. McDonald, number 12, off into the corner. Zarilla takes it off the boards, leaves it there. On the far side, LaPointe runs into Stashney. Sittler tries to keep it in. Stashney going in with Marion Stashney, and it's off the boards, cleared to center again. Borjak, number nine of Czechoslovakia, lost it, and it's Marion Stashney, number 18, over on the far side to Alupa to Borjak. Borjak tries to get something going for Czechoslovakia. There's a shot way off the target. Borjak tries to keep it in. Marion Stashny in front to Kozar, and Potvan breaks that up. Shots on goal. Canada has a 9 8 edge up to this point. And we played three and a half minutes here in the second period. Kozar breaks up that rush. Potman carries on, gets to the blue line, waits for the point, then goes in over the line, right on goal, and Zarilla steers it into the corner. Bobby Hall. Ran into the Czechoslovakian player. Borjak, number nine. Out to center ice, a long shot. That's off the net. Hall races after it with Peter Stashny. Bobby Hall lost his glove, and the puck, Stashny in front. Here's a chance in front. Again, a backhand shot. again against Team Canada. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. Back to the Montreal Forum. Bernie Pascal and Ken Dryden here with Canada leading Czechoslovakia 2 to nothing. Marcel Dion going in with Bobby Hall. His shot and Zarilla juggles it but holds on as Marcel Dion let that fly. Marcel Dion has a very, very good shot. Uh, generally, he's most dangerous when he gets in closer and not with his slap shot with his very quick wrist shot. But that one he got very, very good wood on and required a good save by Zarilla. Right from the draw comes back to Bobby Orr. His shot and Zarilla stops that. Leaves it for Mikosh, number four. Inside his own line. Gives it back to Pospisil. Pospisil's long shot deflected high and out of play behind the Team Canada net. A few moments ago we had another very, very good save by Rogi Vashon. I think in the, in the Team Canada, or in the Canada Cup series up till now, 
I think perhaps only last Thursday night was, was Rogie required to be really spectacular. But in most of the other games, he's been required to be very, very good. And he's been absolutely suffocating. The, every shot that he that has taken on him and many, many good ones, he stops, and he stops with such considerable ease that it's very, very frustrating to an opponent. Czechoslovakia with the puck. Mark Nitz in over the Team Canada line, watched by LaPointe. Drops it back, intended for Halinka, but Barber breaks it up. He's checked by Publa, still has the puck. Barber's long shot, and that's stopped by Zarilla. Michael behind his own goal for Czechoslovakia. Bearing pass right in front, and that's to Publa. He lost it. Leach takes it to the blue line, waits for Barber to get on side, and now Bobby Clark. He slaps it in, but it's offside at the Czechoslovakia blue line. A committee has been organized to select the outstanding players in each game for the Carling O'Keefe Awards, and the Eskimo carvings will be presented to the top player on each team following this game tonight at the Montreal Forum. We've played four minutes and 59 seconds here in the second period. Canada on goals by Perot and Esposito lead two to nothing. Potvin, there's his shot, and Zarilla stops that. Keiko knocked against the board by Barber. Out now to Stashney. Stashney is checked. Bobby Clark trying to hold it there and succeeds in getting a whistle and a face off. And some of the special guests on hand here at the Montreal Forum, Mr. and Mrs. Mark Lalonde and Mrs. Campanello of Skeena. That's the new Minister of Fitness and Sport, of course, announced by Prime Minister Trudeau. Buzar, number 23, off the boards, gives it ahead to Vorjak, Vorjak to center, and had his pass intercepted, cleared right back into the Czechoslovakian line, and Halupa's after it. Alupa, watched by Phil Esposito, returns the pass for Jack at his own line, back to Stashney. Stashney breaking away for Czechoslovakia, going in with Puzar, back to Puzar, and it's intercepted by Guy Lafleur. He jumps, and there'll be a tripping penalty to the Czechoslovakian player as he tripped Guy Lafleur to the right of the Team Canada goal, and Puzar, number 23, heads towards the penalty box. Here's a look at the penalty uh, taken by Pozar on Guy Lafleur. I think it was, it was to some extent, uh, an accidental trip and certainly one that, that uh, was rather unnecessary. And I'm sure he's very upset at himself for getting the penalty at this stage in the game. Czechoslovakia trailing two to nothing. And prior to this period tonight, Czechoslovakia had scored only two goals in the last ten periods of action. Of course, they got that goal last week, last Thursday night, the one nothing victory over Canada. And they scored just one goal last Saturday in a game against Sweden. So they're in a bit of a scoring drought of late. Two goals in their last ten periods. The penalty to Pozar for tripping at five minutes and 49 seconds of the second period. Peter Mahovlich to Bobby Orr behind his own goal for Canada. Perro and Esposito have scored the goals in the game. Canada leading two to nothing. Orr at center. Just clears it in. Lafleur racing after with Esposito. Drops it back. And Esposito is checked as it's taken by Pospisil, but he can't get out. Esposito in turn checked by Pospisil. Novi goes in to help out. Orr keeps it in. Dupont Van in front. Here's Esposito. His shot. And it's knocked down. Novi. The puck was gloved ahead, and the referee Dahlberg calling a stoppage as Esposito and Mikhoch exchange a few words in front of the Czechoslovakian goal. It's not the first time during this game that Makoch and Esposito have had words, although I can't imagine what they're saying, as there's no, doesn't seem to be a common language between the two of them. Gilbert Perrault with Bobby Hall and Marcel Dion. There was the action in front of the net which resulted in that uh, altercation between Makac and Esposito. Czechoslovakian, Pollock clearing it down the ice and Vashon out of the net, leaving it there for Dennis Potvin. Potvin to Gilbert Perrault inside his own line, drops it back to Bobby Hall. 
Hull winds up. Seven minutes have been played here in the second period. Gilbert Perro over the line. Lost the puck in Czechoslovakia. Up with it. Ivan Holinka. Get it to a teammate and down the ice it goes and Team Canada forced to regroup. 39 seconds remaining in the penalty to Pozar. Team Canada on the power play. Dennis Potvin to Bobby Hall. Drops it back. In over the line to Orr. Orr gets that a shot. And Zerilla got a piece of that. Hall from the short side tries to tap it in, but Zerilla falls on the puck with 24 seconds remaining in the penalty. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. We've played seven minutes and 25 seconds here in the Bobby second period. Bobby Orr's shots, uh, as Bobby Orr's shots usually are, right on the corner and low and very difficult for the goaltender, and Zerilla just tipped it wide. Team Canada on the power play. Keichel behind his own goal, watched by Leach. And circles back again. Clark goes in to cover him, gets it down the ice, and back for it, Savard and Marion Stashny. Savard, side of his own goal to Barber. Six seconds remaining in the penalty to Pozar. Barber inside his own line. Coming up to center ice, going in with Bobby Orr and Clark, just clears it into the corner as Pozar returns to the ice, and both teams are at full strength. There'll be a penalty coming up. Dahlberg has nailed a Team Canada player. Here's a shot. Oh, hits the side of the net as Keiko let that go. Penalty coming up to Canada. And as Savard touches the puck, referee Obi Dahlberg signifies the call. And I believe it'll be Bill Barber. Here's the play that resulted in Barber's penalty. It's hard to determine exactly what it was for, possibly holding, possibly boarding. Oh, Bill Barber in the penalty box, so Czechoslovakia has the power play advantage. And here's the announcement on the penalty. Team Canada's penalty number 17, Bill Barber, two minutes for boarding at eight minutes, seven seconds. Czechoslovakia trailing two to nothing. They have the power play situation now. Barber in the penalty box, 807 for boarding. Stashny now will take the face off, drop back, and Halupa has trouble with it, then clears it right onto the stick of Dennis Potvin. Potvin, number six for Canada, gets by Halupa. In over the line, hits Borjak with his shot, and the Czechoslovakian player has it the side of his own goal. Pass ahead to Stashny. Marion Stashny in over the line. Watch by LaPointe, drops it back. Kept in, off the board. Sittler gets a swipe at it, and it's cleared out to center ice where Halupa has it. One minute and 30 seconds remaining in the penalty to Bill Barber. Canada two, and Czechoslovakia no score. We're in the second period. Eight minutes and 45 seconds have been played. Stashny in over the line. Side of the goal, dumps it in front, and it's intercepted. Another shot, here's a shot. Oh, and back top. Vashon. Bozar inside the line. Has the puck, and they're still lapping on that stop by Rogi Vashon. 52 seconds remaining in the penalty to Bill Barber, and it's icing against Czechoslovakia. I don't really believe in turning points of games. But uh, I think that if this game ends with uh, Team Canada winning, a lot of people are going to refer back to the save that Vachon made just there, just about halfway through this second period. It was a, a good passing play right in front, wide open Stastny, a shot, and Vachon had to be very, very quick with their leg save. And right from the faceoff, Zarilla had to be sharp as Ganey let that one fly. Down the ice, smart net, Zenobi. Novi in over the Team Canada line with Augusta. Back to Pospisil. Checked by Ganey. Gets it into the corner. And Ganey goes after it. Puts it right on the stick of Martinet. Martinet behind the goal. Back to Mikaj. Over on the far side. Robinson checks him. Here's the shot. He scores! Elon Novi. Left uncovered at the side of the goal. And Czechoslovakia on a power play goal. Get their first of the game. Czechoslovakian team got Team Canada running and allowed a wide open man there. Vachon had to come out to play him, and as he came out, it was slid right by. 
So a power play goal for Czechoslovakia and it's now Canada two and Czechoslovakia one. 944 the time of that goal by Milan Novi and Keiko has the puck at his own blue line. Czechoslovakia at center. Robinson clears it in. Here's the announcement on the goal. Czechoslovakia's goal scored by number six Milan Novi, assisted number ten Vladimir Martinek, and number four Odrik Mašak. At nine minutes forty-four seconds. And we have nine minutes and 56 seconds remaining in the second period. Canada on goals by Perot and Esposito. And that power play goal by Novi of Czechoslovakia, their first power play goal here. And it's two to one. Robinson tries to keep it in or has it at center ice for Canada. Slaps it right back into the corner. It bounces off the boards and up over the glass and out of play. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. Back at the Montreal Forum, Bernie Pascal and Ken Dryden, as you see the members of Team Canada holding a bit of a huddle there. That goal against Rogi Vashon by Milan Novi was the first goal given up by Vashon in 139 minutes and 22 seconds. Milan Novi, and it was also the first power play goal scored against Canada. Zarilla put it right onto the stick of Guy Lafleur. We have nine minutes and 26 seconds. Here's a shot, and that was stopped. And Bubla has it. There'll be a penalty coming up right after that shot as Esposito is tied up in front of the goal there by Boslav Stachny. Here we see the penalty. Esposito free in front of the net momentarily. Stosny grabbed a hold of him and got the penalty. It's the kind of uh, situation that, that a team who has just been recently scored on uh, looks to very gratefully. They, they are down momentarily, uh, even strength. They're not really forcing the play, and now they get an opportunity to really force the play with the power play. At 10 minutes, 38 seconds. 10 minutes and 38 seconds, the time of the Czechoslovakian penalty. Again, Canada on the power play. Lafleur, his shot hits Borjak, gets it again, back to Orr. Orr winds up, and Carilla juggles it, but holds on. Ron Andrews points out that there are 265 accredited newsmen here at the Montreal Forum tonight. And that's a record of sorts, the most for a Stanley Cup game. 233 and that was for the fourth game of the 1976 final between the Canadiens and Philadelphia. So 265 accredited newsmen covering this game and the telecast is being fed right around the world as well. Eight minutes and 48 seconds remain in the second period. Canada two and Czechoslovakia one on the floor. Into the corner tries to get it in front to Bobby Hull tied up by Hollick. Hollick. Out ahead to Marion Stachny. He couldn't get it out. Orr keeps it in. The floor will try again. Orr off the board behind the net to Esposito. Esposito. Team Canada on the power play. It's Halupa. Halupa clears it out to Stachny. Stachny overskates the puck and Esposito has it at center. Forced to clear it back inside his own line to Dennis Potvin. Potvin's pass hits Esposito. He has the puck inside the line with 45 seconds remaining. In the Czechoslovakian penalty to Boislav Stachny. Novi and Esposito collide. Borjak goes in to help out. Marcel Leon overskated it. Gets the puck again though in front of shot. Another shot. And Esposito sent that one wide. Or trying to get it over to Dennis Potvin. Had to go outside the line. Marcel Leon. Bobby Hull runs into Halupa. Feeds it back to the goaltender. And he gives it to Augusta off the boards and down the ice. Twelve seconds remaining now in the penalty. Seven minutes and 31 seconds remaining in the second period. Here comes Gilbert Perrault. In over the line. Get by Shield right in front. And that pass failed to click to Bobby Hull. Stashney out of the penalty box. Checked by Potvin. Marcel Dion to Hull. Hull runs into Shield. Stashney clears it. Wide of the net. 
Vashon takes it off the boards, leaves it there for Dennis Potvin. Ahead to Farrell. Barber. Marcel Dion in over the line. Dumped by Pospisil. He cost to Augusta. And the puck goes loose to center ice. Ternick in over the Team Canada line. Going in with Pospisil. He takes the pass but gets a weak shot away. Back to Augusta. Winds up his shot wide. At the side, Novi taps at it. Vashon tries to get it. Taken by Dennis Potvin to Dion. Here's a chance for Barber. Going in with Potvin. Winds up a shot. And Perilla stops that. And he's checked by Potvin. And the net is knocked off its moorings. What action here in the second period. And this is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. End-to-end -end action highlighting this second period. Six minutes and 29 seconds remaining. Canada 2 and Czechoslovakia 1. Keiko right onto the stick of Bobby Clark in front. Barber gets a shot and it's deflected wide. Gorilla holds it at the side of the net long enough to get a face off. A great tendency uh, in a game such as this where Vachon has played as well as he has to forget the work of Zurilla, who after coming in at uh, 3 9 of the first period has shut out Team Canada for, for over 30 minutes now and has been forced into making a number of very, very good saves. And in, in a critical circumstance, too, for, for the Czechoslovakian team, as any goal given up during that period of time would have been very, very difficult for them to overcome. Six minutes and 15 seconds remain to be played in the second period. Caro and Esposito have scored the goals in this game for Canada. Milan Novi has scored for Czechoslovakia. Keiko in front of his own net, watched by Leach. He's Czech. Barber to Leach. Ubla runs into him. And now it's Ivan Halinka shot from the side as Barber got the loose puck. Halinka racing after it. LaPointe beats him to it. Behind the net, Barber and Keiko. Try to pin it there. Leach goes in to help out. And they finally pin it there long enough for a faceoff. We've seen it happen many, many times uh, in games involving the Czechs, in particular against Team Canada, and that is their, their lack of, of effectiveness along the boards. Uh, in international hockey rinks, there's much greater space behind the nets, and with the result that there are plays that are made and very little jamming up. So they've had very little experience in moving the puck along with their skates along the boards and Team Canada is doing much better than they are in that regard. Down the ice from the face off and Robinson inside his own blue line for Canada watched by Stashney and it's Bob Ganey firing it down it'll be icing against Team Canada and NHL and World Hockey Association training camps in full swing and no one knows that better than our guest Analyst tonight, Ken Dryden, who was on the ice here at the Forum today with the Montreal Canadiens. It's been a rather hectic day for you, Ken. Well, it has, but however, uh, tomorrow will be that much worse with, with two workouts starting at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Face off is to the left of Rogi Vashon. Canada has been called five times for icing the puck, while Czechoslovakia has only had one icing call against them up to this point. That shot goes wide. Ganey inside the line. Coming back for Canada to center ice. Watched by Halupa. Knocked off stride. Goes after the puck. Collides with Borjak. And the puck goes behind the net. Stachny. For Czechoslovakia. Head to Peter Stachny. Kozar. Number 23. Going in against Orr. Orr takes the puck away from him. And has it. Bobby Orr behind his own goal. Five minutes. Exactly remaining in the second period. Canada two and Czechoslovakia one and again Canada called on icing the sixth time they've been caught for icing the puck in this game. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. Four minutes and 54 seconds remain to be played in the second period. Novi and Peter Mahovlich into the face off position. Both teams are at full strength. Gila point. Backhands it off the boards to Gayla Floor. Pospisil runs into him. But the puck is taken now by LaPointe. Going in with Steve Shad, who takes the pass on the left side. His shot off the net. And comes all the way out to center ice. Then is Potvin. Watched by Novi. Gets it to the center line. LaFleur runs into Augusta. Now it's Ternick. Ternick to Milan Novi. He has scored the lone Czechoslovakian goal. Nick Hodge to Novi. In over the line to Augusta. LaFleur checks him and is dumped. There will be a penalty to Czechoslovakia. And I think there's a little bit of an 
academy performance there as well, although the Czechoslovakian player did have him tied up. Here's the penalty again. Augusta with the puck. Lafleur starts to take it away from him, and the trip is made, or perhaps made. Four minutes and 21 seconds remain in the second period. We mentioned Ken Dryden working with us tonight. We have rather elite goaltending crew up here in the press box. Within a space of about 20 feet, we have Gump Worsley, a former Vesna Trophy winner, and Jacques Plant working on the French coverage of tonight's game. So we're surrounded by goaltending talent. And of course, TVA, the French network in Quebec, carrying the game to the French audience here in Quebec and across Canada in various areas. Augusta in the penalty box for hooking at 15.39, the time of that penalty. And again, Team Canada on the power play with Orr at the side of his own goal. He's out there with Peter Mahovlet, Steve Schutt, Guy Lafleur, and Denny Potvin. Orr, two shut on the left side, broken up, and Chernick slaps it back into the Team Canada corner. Novi and Potvin, a pair of sixes, get to the puck. Peter Mahovlet there to help out to Steve Schutt, Guy Lafleur at center. Leaves it there for shot. He overskates it, and it's cleared right back in and over. Inside his own line for Canada. Checked by Novi. Gets to the Czechoslovakian line and over. Peter Mahavlis right in. A shot. Then a shot. And he just failed to get good wood on that one. Potkashield runs into Peter Mahavlis. Novi goes in. Kicks it away. Or up with the puck. Novi falls. Or watched by Mikos. Gets it back to Potvin. Mahavlis at the side trying to get it in front. And it bounced off his stick. And they hold it there for a face-off as referee Obi Dahlberg doesn't waste any time in whistling down the puck. Rushed by Bobby Orr, not with the kind of speed that Bobby Orr is, is used to displaying, but with the same kind of, of uh, uh, moves that he often does. He set up Peter Mahovlich very well, but Peter's shot bounced off Postuchil's stick and wide of the net. 58 seconds remain in the penalty to Augusta. Three minutes and 19 seconds remain to be played. In the second period, it's Canada 2 and Czechoslovakia 1. Martinets against Bill Esposito. Esposito is waved out. And Gilbert Perrault will move in to take the face off as linesman Vladimir Schubert sent Esposito up. Hot man. Bobby Hall in the corner to Gilbert Perrault. Perot drops it back to Potvin, hits a skate, goes loose, comes back to Orr. Orr's shot, knocked down by Zarilla, and cleared out to the Czechoslovakian line where Martinez has it. He slaps it back into the Team Canada zone with 35 seconds remaining in the penalty to Augusta. Orr at his own line, going in with Hall and Esposito. Esposito takes the pass, returns it back. Here's Martinez breaking away with Pollock. In over the line, Martinet sets up a shot, hits a skate, and goes wide. Or checked in front, taken by Dennis Potvin. Potvin at his own line for Canada. 